Hey, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to edit the footer on your WordPress site. And by footer, I mean the copyright information at the very bottom, which can be tricky to change depending which theme you're using. And no matter which theme you have, there's a couple ways of doing it usually. And one is the theme options, if your theme has theme options, or you can edit the footer directly in the editor. So first we're gonna show the theme options version of this. So if you go back to our dashboard and head over to uh, in this case, I'm using the Aveda theme. It adds a theme options link right here. It also has a theme options link up here under the Aveda menu. Your theme may also have uh, an entry like this Aveda one. Divi does that. So Divi would have its own link on the left-hand side, usually at the bottom. And then you can edit the, um, the theme options from there or go to the theme options from there. In Aveda, there is a footer section. If you have theme options, your theme will likely have that too. And if we scroll to the very bottom, we see the copyright text. And above that, we have the option to actually turn the copyright bar off completely if you don't want it. But in this case, I do want it, and I'm gonna change it from all this mumbo jumbo to WP PhD.com, and I'm just gonna delete all the rest. And then click on Save Changes. And if we go back to this page and click on Refresh, this will now change to what I entered in that field. Now that's the absolute easiest way and I hope that's what you have for your site. I hope you have a theme options panel where you can change like that because that's super easy. The other way is not so easy. I'm going to install a different theme that doesn't have a theme options panel. And I actually have it installed already. I'm just gonna activate it. It's the 2017 theme from WordPress itself and they don't have a theme options section so we have to go right into, actually first we'll go to the, the blog or the website and see what the footer looks like. So in this footer, we have proudly powered by WordPress. A lot of people don't want that there. So we gotta get rid of it. And so the only way to do it, because there is no theme options, even in the, in the customizer, if we go to the customizer, it doesn't have the option to edit the footer. So you can see all these areas where you can edit things have all these little pencils where you can edit stuff. If we go down to the very bottom, proudly powered by, there's a, a white stop symbol, meaning no, you're not gonna edit that, we're not gonna let you do it. Great, thanks WordPress. So we gotta find another way to do it. And the way we do that is a little bit of trial and error, but we head into the editor. And well, sometimes actually there's no trial and error. Sometimes it's really easy, but other times, there's a bit of trial and error. So I'm just searching for the footer.php file and it's right here. I'm going to click on it to open it. And I want to go back to this site. I want to copy this text and then search for it in here. And we get zero results, meaning they've obfuscated the actual text of Proudly Powered by WordPress. So there's no easy way to edit it out of here. And you wanna be careful in this file, you don't wanna mess around too much because it's PHP. You put a colon in the wrong spot, the whole site goes down. So you don't wanna mess around too much unless you know what you're doing in there. So what I'm gonna do instead is right click on that and click on inspect. And then I'm gonna see what is around that, that URL tag. So we have this site info class. So I'm gonna copy that See if I can find that in the footer. Can't find it. Now there's a, a wrap. I'm gonna copy the wrap. See if I can find that. Oh, there's the wrap. So if we go back to the website and look in the inspector, we see that the wrap is where the site info starts. And this is where the wrap is, and the wrap div ends way down here, which means all of this highlighted code is part of that footer. Now you don't want to delete all of it because there's some functionality you might not want to delete. For example, I can see that this piece of code allows you to add widgets to the footer. If we check on the in the widgets menu on the under appearance, open that in the new tab, we see that there are two footer widget areas. Footer one. Footer two, two different widget areas. So if we re just 
uh, without thinking, just remove this, this piece of code, we can't add those widgets anymore. So what we want to do is remove just that proudly powered by. And here we have um, social links we can add in there. And the very last thing is this footer site info, which is the last thing in the, the code. So this must be the one that's produced and proudly powered by. So I'm just going to comment that out by adding two forward slashes, click on update file. Generally, you don't want to delete stuff from your PHP files in WordPress, just comment stuff out because then it's easily brought back to life later on if it ends up breaking things or if it ends up doing not what you want. So when I refresh this page, the proudly powered by is now gone. And then what you could probably do if you know a little bit about PHP, even if you don't, just, just try what I'm doing here. Echo and echo the stuff that you want to have in there and see if it works. So 2017 uh, WPPHD.com, all rights reserved. That's the regular legal, legal mumbo jumbo. Can't spell it though. Uh, reserve, wow. There we go, finally. Okay, click on update file. And if everything goes well, this is just gonna add that piece of text into the footer for me. Refresh this page. And there it is, we have our updated copyright info and we've removed the proudly powered by WordPress info. And we did that right in the PHP file. Unfortunately for some themes, you gotta do it right in the PHP and you wanna be careful in here because you do the wrong thing, whole site goes down. So if you're, if you're not sure what you're doing, ask someone for help. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video, share on social media, subscribe to YouTube channel, and check out wplearninglab.com where I publish more tech tutorials like this every single day. Talk to you soon.